everyone, and good Tuesday evening to you. It is weather for Weather Geeks time. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day across the valley, and we're going to make it two in a row coming up on Wednesday. We deserve a nice stretch of uh, calm and sunny and warm weather, don't we? It was kind of a long winter, and, you know, spring has been coming in fits and starts over the last several weeks, but... We're now locked into a very spring-like pattern going forward, and everything is blooming quickly. Lawnmowers are buzzing, and the bees are out, and uh, it's a great evening uh, just before sunset this evening here in Niles, uh, across from Eastwood Mall, 63 degrees. Look at that dew point, down to 33. The air mass not only warmer at the same time last evening, it was a lot uh, more moisture-laden as well. Those dew points at this time last evening were still up into the 50s to around 60. Now, earlier this month, we did have quite a bit of chilly weather. We, we started to accumulate some pretty big deficits in the temperature department compared to the average, but we've, we've whittled away at that with this warmer pattern settling in of late. Officially, in our area, we get our observations, of course, from the Youngstown Warren Regional Airport. We're almost to average. We're still just a little behind average, and we're still several degrees or a handful of degrees behind average in parts of the Great Lakes region, but even in those places, I think that deficit will be made up going forward. And today on this 22nd day of April, it was Earth Day, and one of the cool things I captured today was the high-resolution visible satellite picture of our region. This is taken from a low-orbiting satellite about 438 miles, I think, something like that, uh, miles above our head. And, you know, the landscape from outer space still looks pretty brown here in mid-April, but it'll be green before you know it, uh, from wall to wall, or from coast to coast, I should say. Um, from a sea to shining sea, if you will. Uh, we will see a green landscape before you know it. But yeah, it's still a little bit ruddy and brown. And we had a few fair weather cirrus clouds in the mix uh, for the midday and afternoon today. But overall, of course, it was a very nice day. All right, uh, the last few nights we've seen the peak of the Lyrid meteor shower. We'll include tonight as part of the peak. Now, if you plan on maybe trying to spot a couple of meteors tonight, uh, keep your expectations in check. This is not one of the best meteor showers of the year. We will be aided by the presence of a pretty thin, not super bright moon, which will, won't rise until about 3 in the morning. Um, so if you go out into a dark spot, give your, give your eyes plenty of time to adjust to the darkness. Don't look at your phone because that will kind of reset your eyes, if you will. Uh, if you allow a good, enough, a good amount of time for your eyes to adjust, you might see up to a handful of meteors per hour, maybe in the best conditions, 7, 8, 9, 10. Something like that. So, you know, there's better meteor showers, but the weather is awfully pleasant out there tonight. All right, heading off to school and work on Wednesday. We expect temperatures in the mid-40s under a partly cloudy sky first thing in the morning, but I think it'll turn into a mostly sunny day. <clears throat> Might be a few fair weather clouds in the afternoon. Now, we did 65 officially today. We're looking to do <clears throat> maybe up to 8 or 9 degrees better on Wednesday. Mid-afternoon temperatures around 72. I think we'll see 74 or 75 in many locations before the day is through. Our model here, you know, there's a little subtle disturbance pushing through tomorrow. Tries to spit up a couple of showers near the Ohio Turnpike. Eh, that's a low-end chance. Probably can't be ruled out that maybe Cleveland or Ashtabula or Erie or maybe closer to I-90. You know, some of those places might get a shower, but very low chance even, even there. And then Thursday, just a beautiful warm day. We'll make a run at 80 and probably even exceed 80 in some parts of the area uh, Thursday afternoon. Then things finally change. The pattern begins to break down as low pressure starts scooting to the east. First chance to see some showers will probably be uh, during the morning hours on Friday. I think the more numerous raindrops may be in the afternoon and especially into Friday night as our low pressure system scoots across northern Ohio and northwest PA. Might be a thunderstorm in the mix. Right now, severe weather does not seem all that likely with that system at the End of the week. Now, temperatures will take a step back over the weekend, especially on Saturday. Still concerned that uh, this is kind of a, a murky, clammy <laughs> pardon me, start to the weekend. That 60 might be achieved in the morning. We could have temperatures holding in the 50s in the afternoon. Now, that being said, if some of the faster modeling is to be believed with regards to the faster timing of the rain, the faster clearing of the sky, we might see some sunshine in time for temperatures to rebound a handful of degrees Saturday afternoon, but either way, we probably don't get back much above 60 in the afternoon on Saturday. And that will seem kind of cool uh, compared to the previous few days. This looks like a beautiful day on Sunday. We look for wall-to-wall -wall sunshine to wrap up the weekend and the final stretch of April. I mean, the warmth is going to build again early next week. We're talking 70s to around 80 during the first half of next week. All right, uh, credit to meteorologist Andrew DePaulo, who uh, kind of... Uh, look this up today. It seems, of course, very unlikely at this point that we'll see any accumulating snow for the rest of April. We have not had measurable snow, more than a trace, in other words, 
in the month of April since 2022. And, you know, prior to then, it was 2010. So it's pretty common for us to see at least some measurable snow in the month of April, but we're going to make it three years in a row in which uh, we have not seen measurable snow officially at the airport uh, in the month of April. Uh, you know, some pretty big numbers some years on here. 2018, we had almost eight inches worth of snow. We had almost nine inches of snow in April in 2016. Um, and, you know, look back earlier in the in the decade, or the century, I should say, 14 inches in 2007, 2005, almost 15 inches of snow in the month of April. So I know, you know, our patience was running a little bit thin earlier this month with some of the some of the chilly and clammy weather, but we've had it much, much worse in April, and again, no measurable snow here for the third year in a row during the month of April. And, uh, you know, more warmth is coming our way in the last stretch of the month. I think there will be a little bit of a modest cool down as we head into the month of May, especially that second week of May. I've, I've talked about that a little bit on this video of late. And uh, coming up later this week on Weather for Weather Geeks, we'll start uh, detailing a little bit more about the longer range as we uh, get set to flip the calendar into the fifth month of 2025. In the meantime, thanks for watching on this uh, Tuesday evening. Have a great night. I'll see you back here, same time, same place on Wednesday.